Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as always, we're always looking for some new inspiration for our Christmas decorating. And this year, especially with having to use a lot of the, what we have in our house, I thought it was a good time to take a look at some inspiration through Ralph Lauren. Now, I think he is an absolutely brilliant designer. I feel he's very moody and dark and very masculine look. Uh, and it has very kind of outdoorsy kind of a feel, which I think reminds me at least of old fashioned Christmases and Christmases of the past. So as you can see, with a Ralph Lauren uh, inspired look, uh, we're going for like a very dark and moody kind of a look with lots and lots of uh, burgundies and hunter greens and so on. And these deep darker kinds of colors lots and lots of plaids which he is not afraid to layer on top of one another different kinds of plaids you know you don't want to keep everything also matchy matchy because it, it tends to look like you know it came out of a box and that's not what you want it to look you want it to have a very organic natural look I take a look at that I think that's really neat it's something that I did a few years ago and uh, I didn't put it on the tree but you know the the good little boy and girl list and you can see the application there is absolutely wonderful um we can see in this tablescape we have a lot of natural elements here uh with the antlers and the uh, berries and so on and now this one is kind of like the opposite of that one this is a very dark again and i'm leaning towards this kind of a look it reminds me of you know a lodge kind of a look or you know uh uh, some kind of estate that's out in the countryside. Um, lots and lots of layering and definitely not minimalistic in nature. This is something that you can, you know, go through your uh, stuff that you have and you can kind of put things together, possibly, you know, use a little paint or use a little fabric or use a little uh, of your own little magic in order to make things coordinate with one another so that you can use them and create a vignette such as this. Now, a lot of times, you know, I'll look for inspiration and then I take off on my own uh, from that initial inspiration. Take a look at how great that is. That That's a table runner that's just coming off the edge of the table and Silent Night is written on the side of that. That's something that, you know, that we can do uh, relatively inexpensively and talk about a dramatic impact if you would come into a room and you would see that coming down on the side of the table. I think it would be something that your guests would remember for some time to come thinking that you're a genius that you thought something like that up. Now take a look here at all the different plaids that are in this room. You would think, oh no, that's going to look really bad, but it, it looks good. It looks good, especially at Christmas. Christmas time, you can get away with a lot of stuff that you may not be able to get away with at another time. I took this one because I particularly liked what's going on on top of that wall unit with the layering of the suitcases, the old-fashioned suitcases and the, the vases and the horse and the, you know, the urn and so on and so on. This is a quiet little corner, uh, you know, probably in a room with a, like, look at that, a little topiary tree there with a couple of color uh the amber color glasses there and it just gives you that feel of that warm old-fashioned kind of a christmas again here we see lots of leathers and again the layering of the santas and so on giving it a very uh kind of lodgy and i i keep using the word but it has more of a masculine kind of look i really like this uh, stairway the application of those icicles hanging down the railing i think that looked really neat i was actually thinking about that before I saw this picture this year. So when I saw the, the picture of it, I was like, hey, let me take it so that I don't forget. Again, here we see a picture taken showing the amount of layering that's going on in this room. And it it will give a lot of interest to your room if that's the look that you like, like me. Uh, that's the kind of look that I particularly um, find attractive. Look how neat that is, that uh, statue of the deer used as a place to hang ornaments and, and uh, whatnot. 
on uh, for display. Now, obviously, you know, you're not going to go out and wallpaper your room with plaid unless you want to do that. Um, but you could use uh, that kind of plaid fabric possibly and just drape it on your chairs or drape it on a table or possibly make um, window treatments out of it. Uh, and again, you don't have to go crazy. It can be very something simple. Uh, you want to take... Uh, pieces of these things and then infuse them into your own design. These are some trees uh, Ralph Lauren inspired and you can see they're very outdoorsy kind of a look but it, it has it's different from that rustic look that we're used to. This is has a very organic natural kind of woodlands feel to it um, and it Again, if you have a bunch of these kind of florals, look look at the mixture in this tree right here. It's you know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it is definitely uh, will make a statement for you, and especially if you're looking for something different and unique to do. Once again, here is just a photo that I found attractive. I, I guess I like that coloring and I like that kind of mood. Look how beautiful that room is. When you love walking into a room there and just sitting in there and notice the tree has nothing on it but lights, but yet it works in this room because it's it's just the total package of feeling like you're you're out in the forest. Here's a very unique application on the stairway. Rather than a garland, they used these pots on the um, those finials there going down the stairs. Again, not everybody could do that, but you might be able to apply that idea to something that you have. And just take here, very subtle little berries underneath, underneath each one of these lights on a chandelier would make a big statement when you come into the room. So again, it doesn't always have to be overbearing and crazy it can be a little bit too again here is a uh, sidebar that i love again because it's i guess it's over the top uh you know all all those florals and and the statues and the the stockings and whatnot i just find it really really attractive as i do this particular uh place setting uh or tablescape i should say um Again, for me, you know, I would use it for something for display. I don't think I would really be able to eat on that kind of table. And notice, if you notice the thread too, uh, a lot of red is being used in these Ralph Lauren uh, inspired rooms as well. Okay, buddy, I hope you enjoyed this and got some ideas. You take care and I'll be seeing you really soon. Bye-bye.